When you first come to witchcraft, one of the first things you're going to learn is how we work with the lunar cycles and when we do certain types of magic and plan our magical rituals around the lunar cycles and also around various times of the year. What I want to talk about today is how you can tune into the energies on a daily cycle and tune your magic in to the daily cycle if you wish to do so. But before I dive into that topic, hi, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn more about Wicca and witchcraft, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. So the times of the day are also opportunities for connection to the energies of the earth and the sun. If you are familiar at all with the Western esoteric tradition, you've probably heard about the astrological times of the day. So this is where a certain hour of the day will correspond to a particular planet. And a lot of magicians will do their magic at that particular time to get the results that they want. From a more earth-based perspective, you can do the same with the daily cycle of the sun. Starting at dawn, which is the beginning of the day. Think of the dawn much like the new moon, where you've got the new beginnings, new stirrings of energy. It's like springtime in the solar year. It's when things are starting to arise, awaken. If you're wanting to do meditations around clarity, planning projects, doing magic around planting the seeds of something new, then the hour around the time when the sun's coming up is a good time to do that kind of magic or that kind of meditation or that kind of self-reflection. Now, none of this is absolutely necessary for success in any of these things. You can do a spell to grow something any time of the day. And you can even do that any time of the year or even any time of the month if you are limited in when you can do your spell. The times aren't as important to spellcraft as your intention and the way you actually approach the magic itself. So if you find that your magic isn't working, the times of the day, whether it's astrological or earth-based, is probably the least reason why your magic isn't working out. So don't think that, oh, you know, I want to do a spell to begin a new relationship or a new project. I have to get up at dawn and I have to get up on a Thursday. And, you know, it has to be during the hour of, you know, the sun or Jupiter or something. It doesn't have to be that pedantic, seriously. You do your magic when you can. Try to tune it in with the energies. Uh, it will help you get more focused if you're tuned into certain times of the day and energies. So that helps the magic, but it's not absolutely necessary to have to only do the magic at that time of the day. So just letting you know that this is perfectly flexible and you don't have to feel that this is how it has to be done, okay? So moving on from dawn, we then have the mid part of the morning. So this is, you know, any time from, depending on what time of year it is, after the sun has been up for an hour or two, right through until about 11 o'clock in the morning, you'll have a, a more of a, a range of opportunities to be able to work on growth magic. Think of this as the waxing of the day where things are starting to pick up, the sun's getting stronger, it's moving more, towards being overhead, uh, or even if it's not directly overhead, if it's winter, it'll be on an angle, but it will still be in the center of the sky from an earth-based perspective. Growth, bringing things to a point where you're wanting them to continue and to expand and grow. Great for financial magic, building relationships, building businesses, anything you're wanting to build or grow or expand, that's the time to focus on those energies, should you wish to do so. Next up is midday, so that's 12 o'clock, noon. This is where the sun is its strongest, so think of this as corresponding to when the moon is its strongest at full moon. This is where you've got the power of the sun. So if you're wanting more courage, more confidence, if you're wanting to really get some boosting into your magic, if you've got something that's sort of being a bit slow maybe, uh, or you're really wanting to boost the magic or you're wanting to 
start to harvest what it is that you're, you're aiming for, then do some magic around noon. So get as close to noon as you can, but it can be, you know, anywhere from say 11.30 to 12.30. Uh, you could probably expand it out a little bit more to between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Uh, but try to keep it as close to that uh, noon energy as you can. Then as the day progresses, you're starting to get into that afternoon energy, bringing you to when the sun is setting, which is dusk. This is where it's a good time to do your release work, to look back at what you've been doing with whatever project you're working on or self-development you're working on, and just have a look at where things might be able to be uh, released, where things may be able to be harvested, so look at it as the, the autumn time of the year. It's that those times of harvesting, those harvesting sort of sabbats. That energy of starting to quieten down, starting to reap what you sowed and begin to release and get ready for reflection. Because once the evening hours, the dark hours arrive, particularly going up and including midnight, this is where we start to naturally become more introspective. As soon as it gets dark, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but we do tend to be more introspective in the evenings and especially the early hours of the morning. So midnight and the hours around midnight are the great time to do work where you are being more meditative. A lot of people like to do magic around midnight. They feel that it, it, it's a more magical time. And I think one of the reasons for that is because we are more in touch with ourselves at, that time of the evening. So if you are a night owl and you're up at midnight and it's not a problem for you to be up at that hour, then do take advantage of it. I know that a lot of morning people are probably rarely ever going to do anything at midnight. and That's fine, you don't have to. You can do self-reflection and meditation at any time of the day. But midnight, it, it does have a certain feel about it. So if you want to try uh, this 24 hour cycle, maybe over the course of a week, uh, I'm not saying you have to stay up 24 hours a day to do the cycle, just maybe test it out um, over a period of time, then uh, enjoy it because it will help you connect more with the energies of the sun and of the earth. And after all, it is the connection that a lot of people are wanting when it comes to working in the craft or working with any uh, kind of tradition that just brings us more more awareness and who and what we really are and what the hell it is that we're doing here in the first place. Uh, combine this with your spell planning. If you're, if you're able to do it or if you want to experiment with it, uh, involve it in your planning. And if you want to be better at your planning, then do take advantage of my free PDF, the Spellcaster Checklist. It will help you be able to focus more on being realistic about your magic and how to plan it to get more success. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sandra from Mystery Witch School. I'll see you on the next video. Blessed be.